after a week off, the status of Republican efforts to repeal and replace Obamacare seems shakier than ever. Unofficial headcounts show that at least 10 GOP senators oppose the Senate plan. That's more than enough to kill it. And political analyst John Keller joins us now to uh, go over where we are. And John, the Republicans control the House, the Senate, the White House. Why can't they seem to get this done? Well, Paula, David, because they've made a series of bad blunders, some of which seem especially avoidable because they're so familiar. You'll recall that the Democrats rammed through Obamacare on a straight party line vote, guaranteeing bitter resistance from the Republicans and their voters. Well, according to Senator John McCain, his party has repeated that terrible mistake. I think I fear that it's going to fail, and then we should say, uh, convene a Republican conference. Say, what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. Introduce a bill. Say to the Democrats, "Here's a bill." It doesn't mean they don't write, that they they control it. It means they can ha have amendments considered, and even when they lose, then they're part of the process. That's what democracy is supposed to be all about. John McCain, John, and other Republicans are pushing for a bipartisan approach. But again, the GOP controls everything. Where else did they go wrong? Well, I think they flunked four of the most important tests of political advocacy. First of all, the core strategy of cutting taxes on mostly high earners while rolling back growth in the low-income Medicaid program left them politically vulnerable, to say the least, and Democrats were happy to cast them as stealing from the poor to help the rich. Meanwhile, the message Messaging has been bad. No clear, sustained explanation of the benefits of their plan, and few surrogates or even regular folks stepping forward to endorse it. President Trump's weak leadership has been a major disappointment, with his disparaging comments about GOP ideas being mean, and his failure to rally even his devoted core followers behind the plan. And finally, they didn't account for the disunity within their own party, apparently assuming that Republicans critical of Obamacare would rally behind any replacement plan. Look, they're still talking about salvaging the Senate bill down in D.C. It's going to be tough to repair the political damage of these mistakes, David and Paula. Right now, it seems to be going nowhere fast. We'll see if that changes. John Keller, thank you so much.